Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testprepinsight.com, and today I'm gonna to be doing a review of Pimsleur German. I reviewed this program about a year ago, but since I released that video, Pimsleur has made some changes and added a couple new features, most notably some speech software, so I felt like I needed to update this review and make sure it was current, so that's where we are today. I'm gonna to tell you how the Pimsleur German program works, talk about price compared to other apps, and of course what I like and don't like about Pimsleur German after these updates. And by the way, I should just mention up front here that since I'll just be focusing on higher level points in this video, if you find you need more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written review over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Pimsleur German Review. It's a quick way to find it. All right, so I want to start with how the Pimsleur German program works and what the lessons look like day to day. So let's start at the top and kind of talk about organization or structure. There are five different levels in the course, beginner to advanced, and each of these five levels contains 30 lessons. So with some quick math, five levels times 30 lessons equals around 150 total lessons in the entire program. Each lesson generally covers a different thematic topic like art, dining, or hobbies, and is comprised of two parts, a 30 minute audio exercise and a group of reinforcement drills, which all together take about an hour to complete from end to end. So if you want to think about timing with each full lesson taking about an hour and there being 150 total lessons, you're looking at around 150 total hours for the entire program. Though that doesn't include some supplemental drills and resources, and a lot of times you will want to listen to audio lessons twice or redo sections, so it's not exactly 150 hours, but it's in that general ballpark. Anyway though, let's talk about the lessons themselves. So to start each lesson, you listen to a 30 minute audio exercise where a moderator speaking in English walks you through a mock German dialogue step by step. You listen to a sentence or two of the conversation in German, the moderator will then stop to explain what you're hearing and what was said, and then he'll have you repeat phrases, ask you questions, and just generally have you participate. It's basically a guided conversation with frequent voiceover and notes. And just as a heads up, as you move from beginner up towards advanced, the English moderator does start to phase out some as you'll be expected to understand more of what's being said in German. In any event, after the audio lesson, you then review what you just learned through a variety of reinforcement drills and exercises. This includes speed games, digital flashcards, pronunciation practice, and matching pairs. Plus, there's always a quiz. For timing, each separate reinforcement exercise takes around five to 10 minutes to complete. So in total, for the entire lesson, audio portion plus all those reinforcement drills, again, you're looking at around an hour from start to finish. And that's the main lesson work, which makes up the vast majority of the Pimsleur German program. Beyond this, there is some supplemental practice work like vocab bonus packs and the new voice coach feature, which I'll cover in more detail here in a second, but that's more or less the program in a nutshell. And by the way, I know I covered that really fast, so if you do wanna see some examples of the Pimsleur drills or exercises, be sure to check out that full detailed written review I mentioned. I'll have it linked down below in the description for you. I have screenshots and examples over there so you can get a better feel for what to expect. All right, so before we move straight into talking about pros and cons, let's quickly touch on cost and how Pimsleur compares to other apps in terms of price. So Pimsleur has two different subscription options. The first is Pimsleur Premium, which gives you access to their German program for $20 per month. And then there's Pimsleur All Access, which gives you access to all 51 of their languages for around a buck more per month, i.e. $21 per month. So not a huge difference at all in terms of the two plans. Either way, you're looking at around 20 bucks per month. Now, if you compare this cost against other apps like Busu, Memorize, and Babbel, Pimsleur is more expensive by around five to $15 or so per month on average. It's definitely not the cheapest German language program on the market, but in all honesty, it's not terrible either. And one other unique thing that Pimsleur does, which I haven't seen many other companies do, is that they allow you to account split with up to three people. Meaning if you're learning with a friend or a spouse, which a lot of people do, you can cut that $20 monthly price tag in half or even in quarters, making it $5 a month in effect. That's a really nice hack. And one other thing that I've got to mention, Pimsleur does have a seven day free trial period, so you can test this program out before fully committing. I would definitely recommend doing just that if Pimsleur does end up sounding like a good fit for you. I'll drop the link to that free trial down below in the description. Make sure to grab that and link on over to try out these audio lessons for a week. It's best to do that before dropping any money. All right, so next let's jump into my pros and cons and what I generally like and don't like about the Pimsleur app. And let's start with the pros. And the first thing I actually want to talk about is Pimsleur's newest feature, Voice Coach, which I just mentioned in a minute ago. So up until just this past year, Pimsleur never had any speech recognition software. It was always something they lacked while other programs had it, and it was something I always complained about. But in 2022, they rolled out their very own speech recognition tech, and it is very good. 
The software is very accurate and provides some helpful feedback. When you're practicing with it and mispronounce something, it'll tell you with a bad grade based on a star system. And one feature that I especially like about it is the challenge mode. When you toggle this on, you'll be prompted in English to say a phrase in German with no hint as to how to say it in German. So it makes you think critically about what to say, plus you still need to nail your pronunciation. It's very difficult, but also very, very helpful. Then, my second pro, and this might be kind of obvious, but I'm a huge fan of Pimsler's audio lessons. These 30-minute audio lessons are the heart and soul of the Pimsler course and what really make it. So, these audio lessons are the end result of the Pimsler method, which is largely based on two things. First, their belief is that you should learn new words and phrases within the context of a conversation. This helps your brain internalize the language because you're hearing the words in context with rhythm, tone, and pronunciation that you can associate them with. The back and forth really helps you understand. And second, Pimsler's all about spaced review. You need to hear words at spaced intervals in order to transfer them from your short-term memory to your long-term memory. And the Pimsler audio lessons are purposefully designed to do just this. Bottom line, there's only a couple language apps on the market that use audio lessons like this, and I am a big fan. Okay, so my third pro goes hand in hand with my last point. Because the Pimsler program is largely audio-based, their lessons are really flexible in terms of when and how you can work them. Basically, for the audio portion of each Pimsler lesson, you're not tied to your phone. You don't have to be staring at a screen, watching videos, matching word pairs, or typing phrases in. With the audio lessons, you can hit the play button and go about whatever you're doing. You can do a lesson while you're on the treadmill, folding laundry, picking up around the house, whatever. Basically, I just really like that you can be productive with your time while still doing a lesson. It's a huge bonus. You can even do an audio lesson while you're driving because they have a special driving mode, which is very, very nice. And lastly, the final highlight I want to call out here are all the drills and exercises that follow the audio lessons. These almost make it feel like class followed by homework, but in a good way. There's a reason you get homework in school. It's because it helps you to review and reinforce what you learn in class. And Pimsler's drills are great for this. They're pretty varied, they're fun, fast moving, and the interface is really nice. This combination of the audio lessons being followed directly by the drills is powerful. and really gives the program a very deep and comprehensive feel. All right, so next, let's talk about the things that I don't necessarily like about Pimsleur German. But before I get to that, I do want to just mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free language learning course to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter. Everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description on how to get entered, but just know it takes like 10 seconds and hey, you never know. You could win a totally free subscription to Pimsleur German. Okay, so time for the cons. And the first downside of the Pimsleur program in my eyes is that there aren't many visuals in this program. There are no pictures, graphics, and definitely no video. And this isn't some accident or design feature that slipped through the cracks. Pimsleur specifically designed their program this way because their belief is that audio is the fastest way to fluency. But because of this audio heavy focus, Pimsleur might not be the best option for visual learners. There are those people out there who make mental associations between the new words they learn and a contextual image or graphic. If you are one of these types of learners, you might want to consider a more graphic and text heavy program like Babbel or Rosetta Stone. I'll link our reviews of each of their German courses down below for you. Then second, although I absolutely love the effectiveness of the Pimsleur audio lessons, there are a couple downsides. For one, they are a little long. With each lesson taking around 30 minutes to complete, it can be hard to find the time to sit down and knock out a whole lesson, especially when you pause the audio from time to time to think about something or rewind a few seconds back. So they are a little lengthy. And two, they do move a little slow. These lessons don't give you that dopamine rush that Duolingo exercises do with all of their motion graphics and haptics and cool cartoony figures. These audio lessons are slower developing and are more professionalized and serious, so I just don't want people thinking they're getting some ultra fun game-like experience here. And lastly, because of how much emphasis Pimsleur places on listening and speaking, their lessons are a little light on grammar. Again, this is by design. Some of their courses like Rocket German give much more attention to grammar instruction in the meat of their lesson work. Now, which approach is better is totally up for debate. Obviously, you do need to learn grammar and understand structural differences between English and German, but what I will say is that sometimes when there is too much emphasis on grammar during the early stages of language acquisition, it can do more harm than good. It's sometimes more important to focus on what you hear first and then worry about the rules later, and Pimsleur is definitely in this camp. For me personally, I like how Pimsleur does it generally, but I would like to see them incorporate maybe a little bit more grammar into their program, maybe with a short supplemental lesson as part of each unit. But anyway, that about does it for the detail in this review. So let's get to my final thoughts. Is Pimsleur German worth it? 
Personally, I really like Pimsleur German and keep coming back to it. While all of these German apps have their own cool, unique features and aspects, the Pimsleur audio lessons are just so timeless and effective. They do really work. And all the other features around them, like the reinforcement drills and new voice coach feature, make Pimsleur one of the more comprehensive German language programs that I've used. Now, there are a couple negatives with this program and it might not be for everyone, but by and large, I am a really big fan of Pimsleur German and have no problem recommending it. But anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope this video was helpful and you learned a little something about Pimsleur German. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to the channel, liking this video, and dropping me a quick comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you want to see that full detailed written review that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. We got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you next time.